This may well be the beginning of a historic weather event. Saturday in the desert. And in the Tehachapi Mountains, the warnings have been clear, be ready. For homeowners, that means waiting in line to shovel sand. The demand so high here in Anaheim for a time, there was no sand to bag. They are out of sand, but they're expecting two truckloads or something like that within 15 minutes. A similar story at fire stations in the Los Angeles area. Finding sandbags met multiple stops for Caroline Wright. Uh, it's been a couple hours. It's been a couple hours of searching, starting in Burbank to Glendale, quick lunch stop, then up to Santa Clarita, and now back. Ultimately, she shovels enough sand for 10 bags. Remarkable effort for someone who initially didn't take the weather warning seriously. And then I remembered what a normal rainstorm does to my very old 1950s LA building um, and the flooding we get normally. So I decided to prepare a little bit. We are expecting a rare and dangerous rainfall event. Opening remarks for state and federal officials pledging help where and when people need it. The National Weather Service warns of flash flooding, river flooding, mud and debris flows. As well as the potential for wind damage from strong tropical storm force winds. There will be power outages, make no mistake, there will be power outages across Southern California. That's put all agencies working within the state's Office of Emergency Services in action. We want to be sure that we have this close communication with those utility companies to ensure that they can restore power as quickly as they possibly can. The weather is already proving to be full of dramatics, thunder and lightning in Rancho Mirage and farther south in Imperial County. The California National Guard strategically dispatched 22 high water vehicles and it's not just these heavy vehicles ready if necessary. In addition, we also have other capabilities, soldiers, airmen who are standing by and will be prepared to respond as the need arises. Hillary is not just threatening Southern California, Nevada, and Arizona, too, may be impacted by these heavy rains and the strong winds of the storm. A voluntary evacuation warning is in effect for the bonfire burn areas of Silverado Canyon and Williams Canyon. The Orange County Sheriff's Department issued the warning today out of concern about debris flows along or near the burn scar from the December 20th. Uh, 2020 bonfire, which burned more than 6,600 acres in Santiago Canyon. The evacuation warning is expected to last through early Monday. Help is now available for those with no transportation who need to get to a storm shelter. The state of California is partnering with Uber to help residents impacted by Tropical Storm Hillary. Uber will provide rides to temporary shelters up to a price of 40 bucks. To redeem the rides, riders have to add the promo code Hillary23 in the wallet section of their Uber app. The offer is good for three trips per rider through August 23rd. And Hillary is causing events to be either canceled or postponed all over Southern California. The Dodgers and Angels move tomorrow's games to today and play double headers against the Marlins and Rays. LAFC's match has been moved to Wednesday, and the Galaxy's match has been rescheduled for October 14th. Tomorrow's Sick Levia Koreatown Meets Hollywood event has been canceled. For a full list of what's been canceled or rescheduled, go to our website, foxla.com. And as the hurricane slowly moves northward, the Navy's making preparations in San Diego. Alani Latang took a look at what's going on along the waterfront. Naval Base San Diego is taking a handful of their ships and sending them out to sea to avoid them being there during the storm. And this action is to ensure the safety of our military members and the vessel itself from potential damages the storm could cause. We are uh, taking a lot of precautions along the waterfront here and across the base. Naval Base San Diego is taking precautions before Hurricane Hillary could make landfall as a tropical storm. The Navy is sorting approximately 10 ships, such as destroyers and aircraft carriers. This means the ships will head northwest out to sea to protect the ships themselves, sailors and Marines that work on the ships 24-7 from the impacts of the storm. The calculus 
was uh, moving the most uh, readily available ships. Around 10,000 sailors and less than 100 Marines will be out to sea where they will focus on training. They will remain out until the Navy decides conditions are right to bring them back. The Navy will also take extra precautions for the ships that remain on base. They say they might deploy anchors, secure ships with extra lines, and bring loose items inside the ships. These uh, sailors and the ships are precious national resources. Uh, and for us, it's important to take care of all the uh, capability that we have, and this is our best way to do it. Uh, we're uh, prepared and postured to do it, and we're focused on the safety uh, of our crews and the safety of these assets. Naval Base San Diego is also doing things around the base to prepare for the storm, such as removing or tying down items that could be an issue or fly off. They're also clearing out drains to reduce the chances of flooding.